Hello everybody and welcome to day eight of the December Journal Challenge, 12 days of journaling. As it's day eight, I'm sure you're probably familiar by this point of what is going on, but just in case you are not, this is a journal challenge hosted by the lovely Daisy of My Green Cow and Meg of Meg Journals of 12 days of journaling prompts, which also comes with a video every single day with a different creator working with their prompt. In the description box there will be a link to the playlist of all the videos plus links to all the separate channels for everyone taking part. Um, if you are new to my channel, my name is Grace aka Ms Paper Lover and as I've said, I am day eight, the prompt is Christmas playlist which I was absolutely thrilled to get so let's get going I do my Christmas journaling in this 6x8 Simple Stories album because I can create anything on a page and then just put it in the album. So I can do any kind of style. I could do creative journaling, junk journaling, art journaling, a little bit of scrapbooking maybe, pocket pages, just whatever I feel like doing. I really like the freedom it gives me. What you saw me doing at the beginning is using my Fomemo thermal printer and I was printing off um, screenshots from my phone of my playlist playing in Apple Music so I have a little picture of every individual song as if it's playing like it would on your phone or your iPad or whatever and then I've put those aside I'll bring that those back later but I wanted to work on my base page so what I've cut is a page that is nine and three quarters by eight inches tall so I can have a part of it folded inwards because it needs to be about six and a half to fit into the album. To make the page a bit more like my own, I'm adding a load of collage to it. Some of the collage I'm using is tissue paper, the Tim Holtz Christmassy tissue paper. I think that one came out this year. Then some scraps of Christmassy music paper from my own stash and other little bits and bobs of vaguely Christmassy looking scraps. And to collage those on, I am using Distress Collage Medium. I also am using this little cut off scrap when I cut the original piece of paper. I thought it would make a cute little pocket as well to create on the page. So I'm adding collage to that as well. I'm then going to dry off that one side with my heat tool and then do pretty much the exact same thing with collaging on the other side of the paper. It's just, it's a completely unnecessary step. I just really like to make pages my own by adding my extra little bit of flair to them with a bit of collage and sometimes adding some stamping or stuff like that. Just, yeah, I think it makes your project a little bit more special to you when you've added more of your own flair to it. When the collaging is all done on this side, I'll put it aside to dry naturally while I work on all my little cards and my playlist part of it. So I have this Tim Holtz set of cards. Again, I think these came out this year. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick down the picture that I printed off earlier on each one of these cards and have a waterfall effect so you can flip up and look through the playlist that way. So each card I needed to cut down a little bit. I think I cut them down to about three inches tall by about two and three quarters wide so there was enough room for the picture on there but also a bit more room to add little extra bits of decoration here and there. I think I have 18 songs in my playlist which made it awkward because that meant four on one side and five on the other so I added an extra card as like a little title card but I had to figure out which song was going where and I went through them and kind of divided them into categories of um, I think I've got like classic, and um, by classic I don't mean classical, I mean like classic Christmas songs, then carols, then rocky ones, and then like fun Christmassy kid songs from movies and stuff. So yes, just putting those on each card and then making sure on the other side it's upside down, so when you flip it over it's the right way up. And then I will go through and decorate each and every single individual card with just some very light basic decoration. I'm using lots and lots of washi. I have some little Christmas stickers, sticker flakes, some Christmas sticker books, simple stories ones, and also some vintage and retro used Christmas stamps. And yeah, just going through them, adding lots of ripped up washi and layering the stickers so that I can kind of cut them off and use them on another one. I'm trying where possible to make the decoration work with whatever song that it is. So like for one that mentions bells, I'm going to put lots of bells on the page and things like that. But as I do this, I'll tell you what's in my Christmas playlist just in case you were wondering. So going by the categories that I created just for the sake of this channel spread, first we have the carols because it's not Christmas without belting out some Christmas carols very badly and very out of tune, very much a family tradition to do that while cooking Christmas dinner in this house. Um, I just chose a couple, not all of them. I went with Oh Come All You Faithful, Hark the Herald Angels Sing, Oh Little Town of Bethlehem and Oh Holy Night. 
And then on the other side of those cards are the more, like, for want of a better word, normal Christmas songs. You know, the ones that you'll hear at a Christmas party or out in the shops. Um, I chose Step Into Christmas, Elton John, and then Baby It's Cold Outside, Stop the Cavalry by Jonah Louie, which isn't as well known, but I just, I really like it. I like the trumpety bit in it. And then I went with Fairy Tale of New York, classic. And then on the other side, we have the more rocky ones. So first is a new entry this year, which is Sabaton's Christmas Truce, which is about that really well-known World War One Christmas Truce. And the next is one of my absolute favourite Christmas songs, The Darkness, Christmas Time, Don't Let the Bells End. Added a lot of bells on that particular card. I just love that song. Then as a homage to my teenage emo years, I went with a Fall Out Boy song, which is called Yule, as in Y-U-L-E, Yule, Shoot Your Eye Out, which is, it's not as awful as it sounds. It's just emo. And then Queen, Thank God It's Christmas. And then... Slade, Merry Christmas everybody, because it's cheesy and it's awful, but I love it. And lastly, it's like the fun kid songs from Christmas films. Uh, first, I chose three songs from The Muppets Christmas Carol, because if anyone says to me, like, what's your favourite Christmas song? I'm like, the entire soundtrack to The Muppet Christmas Carol. So, but I could only choose a couple. So I went with It Feels Like Christmas, Scrooge, which is probably the best one, and Thankful Heart. And then I added two from The Nightmare Before Christmas, because I had to. I went with Kidnap the Sandy Claws and, um, What's This? My actual favourite song from Nightmare Before Christmas is probably This Is Halloween, but that doesn't really work for Christmas, so I went with those ones. And yes, that is my list. You will notice there's no Mariah Carey or Band-Aid or Michael Bublé on my list. It's just, it's just not my thing, really. Thank you very much. And I know I might get some hate for that because some people are very passionate about Christmas and music, but you know, I like what I like. That last card I am doing is like a title card. So I just added some pretty things to it, made bigger collage than I'd made on the other one and then wrote out Christmas playlist on my Dymo label maker. And then I'm rounding off the corner of every single card, partly because some of the corners were already rounded from the original cards before I cut them down. But also it just, it makes them less ragged after a while after they've been flipped through however many times over the years. If it's the corners punched, they get a little bit less dogged and ragged. And then each and every card, I'm alternating between Distress Oxide in Candied Apple and Lucky Clover, adding red and green around the edges just for an extra Christmassy effect. And I'm gonna add Oxide around the, my big base page as well, now that it's dry, just so everything ties in nicely together snipping off any bits of collage that are coming off the edges and yeah I think I only go with red on on my base piece I didn't think the green worked very well on that also going to add that little leftover scrap that I collage to make create that little pocket as well and then I'm going to pull out some other papers I think these were a not Poundland, I think I got them from The Works. I really like these papers, like lovely kind of vintagey vibes, but really, really pretty. Anyway, I'm gonna cut that down and make that my card, kind of add my journaling on to slip inside that pocket, like so. But I think before I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna add my waterfall playlist. So I'm gonna have the first four cards and the little title card on the front of the little flip out bit and the others on the other side. Waterfall, I'm not doing the mechanical one where you pull it and it flips itself. I'm, I'm too lazy, that's why. I'm just gonna do the washi taped version where you flip each one, one at a time. As you can see, just washi taping them in like so. The only thing I'm being careful to do is making sure they all line up vertically. Otherwise it would look a bit messy if you didn't pay attention to that. And one was sticking out a quarter of an inch sideways or something like that. But yeah, that's all I'm doing. The washi I'm using one uh, has music notes on it. I think it was from Prima. I cut it down, I cut it in half for each time because it was quite a wide washi and the other Christmassy one I think I got it this year from Bluebell Hill Crafts I think it's really gorgeous it has like Christmas tree decoration-y things it's really lovely I love it but yes I know some people would add double-sided tape to the washi as well to make it extra secure um I do that sometimes it depends very much on the washi tape itself this stuff seems sticky enough to me to work so I didn't but I may have to go back in future if it starts becoming unstuck um, but with all those down, I then thought where the fold is, with those 10 cards and all their decoration and washi, etc., 
added to the weight of that fold, it was becoming quite weak. So I've added washi tape to it on both sides to give it a little bit more strength. And then using a bone folder to really score down that fold and really stick down the washi on that fold as well. So next I'm gonna work on that little card that I'm gonna add journaling to. I found this picture. I really wanted to add a picture of something to this journal spread. Um, but I couldn't find anything music related. So I was going through really old pictures and I found this one of little me. I'm not entirely sure how old I am in it, but you know, little. And I'm wearing Rudolph ears and I have a Rudolph nose on and I'm playing the piano. So we've got Christmas, we've got music, it works. There we go. So just gave that a little bit of backing of a contrasting paper, adding the red ink to the edges. And I'm gonna very lightly decorate that kind of in the same way that I decorated the little cards with ripped up washi and little bits of pieces. Not to overdo it, but to add a little bit of something to it. And then on the reverse side, oh, I'm gonna add the red ink around the edges of this as well. Um, and then on the reverse side is gonna where I'm gonna add my journaling, but I'm gonna add some really basic decoration to it. Again, using washi, it's my favorite thing. And then a few stickers here and there. And I think I brought in a couple of phrases as well, mostly because I've got a lot of them from all the Christmas sticker books I've gathered over the years and I really need to use some up. So that's mostly why I added the phrases. I did take that big card off camera to my sewing machine and added a wide stitch just around the entire border. I thought it added a nice element, nice bit of texture to it. And then I added my journaling. Um, I basically just journaling about the playlist and kind of why I like those songs and why I don't like the really popular songs and like about badly singing carols on Christmas morning with family and just things like that. Oh, I use these little letter stamps, which are from Dovecraft to just stamp out. I think it says Christmas music rather than Christmas playlist. But yeah, and then I added my journaling. I went with a brown ink. I thought it went really nicely. I thought black would have been too harsh. Red or green would have been too much. Brown works really nicely and really, keep, you know, there's a vintagey theme to the whole thing. So that looks quite nice, I think. Slotting that back into its little pocket. Oh, I added those stickers on the picture just to explain what was happening in the picture. Then using some Tim Holtz Christmassy ephemera, I wanted to decorate the space on the flip out that's underneath the last card. Cause when you flipped up that last card, there was just sort of nothing there. So really, really basic decoration. I just chose a couple of ephemera pieces, distressed the edges, um, added color to them, either the red or the green. And that's, that's pretty much it. Just so there's something there when you flip up that last card and it's not like, oh, there's a blank space and it's weird and awkward. Oh, and I added something on top of that pocket as well. I thought I, it, it needed something. So holiday greetings, that will do nicely. And finally, not doing a whole lot to this sort of cover page for the whole spread, but I found some thickers that I haven't really used much of, and one said, fa -la, la and I thought, well, that'll work with the whole music playlist theme. I was gonna stick it straight down, but it wasn't standing out enough, so I just ripped another scrap of the same base paper that I've used, added the red to the edges for it to stand out, and then added the fa la la. I did use glossy accents to help stick it down so it doesn't pop off. And then finally, some red splatters, because red, Christmassy, shiny, there we go. And then lastly, I'm gonna put it into my album, and that's pretty much it. So there we go. Thank you so, so much for watching. Please make sure to check out the playlist to the other videos in the description and the links to all the other channels that are taking part. Um, if you would like the full prompt list, then it's all over Instagram. I'll post it on Instagram myself. I'll put it in the thumbnail of this video, all of those things. Let me know in the comments what your favorite Christmas song is or even songs, if you have some of the same favorites as me or if you completely hate my playlist, I don't mind. Just let me know, I'd love to know. And yeah, that's gonna do it from me. Thank you so much to Meg and Daisy for inviting me to take part. As I said, please check out the other videos, check out the prompts, all that kind of thing that's going to be enough for me. Thank you so much again. Bye-bye.